Welcome to another edition of the Fivecast. I'm Rico Izumi. Last week, WFN pro angler JP DeRose gave us a rundown of his five favorite baits. And the response was so overwhelming, we've decided to give him another five cast of his own? Actually, we haven't decided, the producers of the five cast have decided. And if they decide to do it again, they're gonna have to deal with the angriest diva in angling. One of the biggest problems I see with boat maintenance and one of the biggest things that can be checked quickly, your prop. I see far too many people come out of the water, put the boat on the trailer and they take off and go home. Well basically, if you take the nut off of this and take your prop off, you check for one very important thing that's at the back of that prop, fishing line. Fishing line is in the water, people cut it off their rods, it goes over the boat and your props suck it up. What happens is on your prop shaft there's a seal on the back of it and that line when it wraps in behind your prop will actually cut into your prop seal. Okay, so once your seal is worn, water gets into your gear case which holds all the oil, water and oil do not mix, ends up mashing your gears and a gear case like this is $5,000. It's a two minute job and it's five grand in an investment. Quick thing to check after a day on the water, especially if you're in rough water, are these little babies right here, your motor bolts. Your motor bolts keep this boat attached to this motor. <laughs> you know, I've seen far too many times where guys will go out, use their boats week in, week out, never check them. Well, they will actually loosen off from vibration. All it really has is a nylock nut on it. So a quick check with a wrench and you know, you get your set out, it's a three quarter inch on these ones. You check the ones that connect your boat hull to your jack plate if you have a jack plate and your jack plate to your motor. Or if your motor is directly attached to your boat, you check the ones that go right through your hull. A quick thing that can save almost $20,000 worth of motor to fall off into the lake. Insurance companies don't like that. Trailering your boat, everybody needs to except those who have a cottage. Now, we trailer these boats on an average of 30 to 40,000 kilometers a year and you really got to ensure that these boats are properly attached to the trailer. And by doing that, there's really three fundamental things that you have to have in place. One would be your transom tie down straps. Transom being the rear of the boat, okay, and you have straps that attach it firmly to your trailer. The second thing is to take care of your motor being attached to the trailer with a transom saver, and at the front of the boat, you make sure you have your winch strap securely done and it's not worn out, and you have a safety chain just in case everything, anything breaks in the front of the boat, the safety chain will keep your boat down. Your tires keep your boat off the road. That's all you have in between your boat and your trailer smashing into the road, so you want to take really good care of them. One thing I can recommend is looking at the proper air rating for your tires. They're all marked on the inside of your tire, so make sure that your tires are properly inflated. They will leak air normally. Very slowly over the course of a season, the air will leak right through the rubber, so you make sure you top them up regularly. The other thing is, on my boat I have an oil-filled bearing, and on most boats they have a grease-filled bearing. You want to keep those properly maintained check often to see if water gets in them. If water gets into these bearings, it turns the grease or the oil into a coffee colored, almost like a double-double. If you see that, then you have a problem, whether it's your rear seal or your front seal, you're getting water in. Water and oil don't mix, and when metal gets involved, you have big problems. Your tire can blow right off your trailer. So make sure you keep these clean, lube them up every year, keep your tires properly inflated, and you'll have some safe traveling ahead of you. And finally, the most important part that links your vehicle to your trailer. This is your tow bar assembly. What you have here is a very, there's few key components here that have to be looked at and made sure they're hooked up properly every time you get on the road. Number one is make sure you have the right size receiver ball that matches your coupler. Okay, this is a two inch ball on a two inch coupler or you can have a one and seven eighths ball on a one and seven eighths coupler. Do not use a two inch coupler on a one and seven eighths ball. It will fly right off. The other thing you want to have here is if you notice here, I've got my safety pin in. This stops this piece, which opens my coupler up. So when my coupler's down, I take my safety pin, put it in there, so if this ever pops up, it stops it from going all the way up and the trailer can't jump right off the ball. Two safety chains. Now by Canadian law, this changed not too long ago, but you have to have spring-loaded clips on your safety chain so they can't slip off. When you have safety chains, two come out of the bottom, make sure you crisscross them and then hook them up. The reason you crisscross them is because if your trailer ever falls off, it'll land on the crisscross part and it'll stop your trailer from hitting the bottom. On this one, because this trailer is brakes assigned to it and has brakes on it, I have a brake safety chain. So basically, if this assembly ever flew off, this would get pulled from here, being attached to the truck, and put the brakes on the boat. And finally, your lights. Make sure you keep your lights clean. 
Often you can use dielectric grease in them, wire brush the contacts to make sure that you have a good connection between your trailer harness going to your truck and the trailer harness going to the boat. This will ensure you have all your turn signals, backup lights and everything else you need so that nobody rear ends you. It's a little tip that you got to walk through and make sure everything's good or else you're just going to run into problems. Thanks for watching this special edition of the Fivecast. I'm Riko Izumi. And I'm glad JP seems to know so much about taking care of his boat, because if he thinks he's hosting the show again, he's going to find it at the bottom of Lake Ontario. Yeah, JP, that's not a threat, that's a promise. And also a threat. Clothing provided by StormTech, official performance apparel of WFN, the World Fishing Network. Why don't you take a break and check out some more Mariko on WFN.TV your exclusive home for the five cast.